Meanwhile, tensions between the U.S. and China are growing once again. The Biden administration seems to have moved from rhetoric to action. In the last 24 hours, it has made three significant moves. First of all, American intelligence agencies are said to have accessed massive genetic data from China's Wuhan laboratory. And they're going through this data, we're told, to find the origin of the pandemic and to possibly try to link it to Wuhan. Second, the Biden administration has announced that it's going to provide a temporary safe haven to Hong Kong residents living on American soil. And then, America has approved its first arms sale to Taiwan. A $750 million proposal has been made to sell state-of-the-art weapons to the island nation. Our next report gets you all the details. The undeclared Cold War between America and China is escalating. From rhetoric, it is shifting to action. The Biden administration is making the first moves. But overall, overall America is going to provide temporary safe haven to Hong Kong residents currently living on its soil. This move will allow them to extend their stay in America. For how long? In a signed memo to the Department of Homeland Security, President Joe Biden has proposed to allow them to stay for up to 18 months, citing compelling foreign policy reasons. Our announcement today is in response to the PRC and Hong Kong authorities' repeated actions to undermine rights and freedoms guaranteed by the Basic Law and the Sino-Joint Declaration, which is a binding international agreement. We strongly urge Beijing and Hong Kong authorities to cease their continued attacks on Hong Kongers for exercising protected rights and freedoms. The move does not offer a pathway to citizenship, but it can be renewed indefinitely by the U.S. president. Nonetheless, Hong Kongers living in America are moved. There are thousands of them who would now be eligible to remain and avoid being deported. Maggie Shum is one among the thousands. I have happy tears. It's like you read, I read it, I was like, wait, let me read it again. And then, you know, I think, I think it's just like, you know, because there's a lot of, you know, pressure and stress building up in terms of, you know, about all this uncertainty, right? And then so this just so sort of <laughs> opened the floodgates and, you know, just so sort of like crying happy tears and talking to my friends and, just feeling like, you know, it's a good feeling. Naturally, the move has infuriated China. The Chinese foreign ministry is calling it a plot to stir up trouble in the city, which is bound to fail. China has also warned America of severe countermeasures. But Washington is only pushing further. In the world, we stand together. On Thursday, the Biden administration approved its first arms sale to Taiwan to help the democratic island nation modernize its defenses against growing Chinese threats. The proposal is worth $750 million. It includes the sale of 40 self-propelled howitzers, 20 artillery support vehicles, 5 Hercules vehicles, five M2 Chrysler mount machine guns, and 1,700 kits of GPS-guided munitions. All these weapons will be manufactured by BAE Systems, a British multinational arms company. The US State Department has notified the Congress about this proposal, saying it would serve America's national economic and security interests. The Congress now has 30 days to renew it. China's reaction? Beijing calls it a violation of its sovereignty. From Hong Kong to Taiwan, America has made two big diplomatic moves in 24 hours. Will China retaliate with more than words? We are tracking updates. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.